Alrighty, let's take a look at an example of a non-inverting amplifier with some real numbers. Let's let R1, the feedback resistor, be 10 kilo ohms, and R2 be 2 kilo ohms. And let's calculate what the output voltage will be in terms of V sub S and these ratios. Well, we know from our previous work that V out for a non-inverting amplifier is equal to V sub S times the ratio of those two resistors, R1 over R2, or 10 kilo ohms divided by 2 kilo ohms plus 1. Well, 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6, so V out then is equal to 6 times V sub S. And in this case, then, we would say that the gain of the amplifier G is equal to 6. And note that gain is a unitless term. It's uh, equal to the ratio of V out divided by V sub S. Or we can say, then, the gain is equal to the ratio of V out divided by V sub S. The volts cancel, and gain is, again, a unitless term. Now, let's look at issues of saturation by just assuming that we have two voltage sources. The positive supply is going to be a plus 15 volts, and let's make the negative supply a negative 15 volt source. And we now ask ourselves, what is the range on V sub S so that the amplifier will stay in its linear range and the output voltage will be six times whatever V sub S is? Remember what the limitation is. The output voltage can't be any greater than the supply voltages. It can't be any greater than 15 volts, and it can't be any less than negative 15 volts. Or to put it in terms of inequalities, V out has got to be greater than negative 15 volts and less than a positive 15 volts. Now substituting V out for 6 V sub S, we have then 6 V sub S must be greater than a negative 15 volts and less than a positive 15 volts. Dividing both sides, uh, both this side and this side, by the 6 so that we get V sub S by its side, by itself rather, we get V sub S must be greater than a negative 15 over 6, and it must be less than a positive 15 over 6. Or V sub S then is constrained to being greater than a negative 2.5 volts and less than a positive 2.5 volts. Let's graph this by looking at V out as a function of V sub S. So V sub S here, V out along here. Let's go ahead and mark our uh, positive 15 volts there and negative 15 volts there. And here's negative 2.5 volts. And there's positive 2.5 volts. Let's just kind of mark it up there and mark it down here. So for V sub S, less than 2.5 volts, the amplifier is going to be saturated at its negative supply voltage of negative 15 volts. As V sub S gets larger than negative 2.5 volts and less than a positive 2.5 volts, V out then is going to equal 6 times V sub S, or a nice linear, well, sort of linear, you get the idea, relationship in that linear region. Hence, it's called the linear region. When V sub S is greater than 2.5 volts, it saturates at the upper or the positive supply voltage. And while the graph may not be beautiful, you get the idea. Saturation means that it, the output can't be any less than negative 15 volts, can't be any greater than positive 15 volts, and in between the constraints, it's a nice linear relationship where then the slope of this line is 15 divided by 2.5, which is 6, and that's just our gain term.